Look at that palette, guys. Hello, and welcome back to Fire Emblem The Lonely Mirror, a ram hack of Fire Emblem 8 by Caladrius. Look at the Salve Knight. Look at that palette. Pretty stoked to see where this game goes. Last time we beat Chapter 1, or rather the prologue. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on a sec, guys. We're going to do some fun load alternative save. This is what we want. There we go. All right. Um, so I did try out the prologue on hard mode. I didn't really notice any changes. I didn't get a chance to chat with Caladrius yet, but I looked at some of the feedback in the thread. And Caladrius mentioned that they weren't really able to do a ton and ton of playtesting on some of the difficulties. So I've read some of the feedback that the difficulty is kind of uneven across and so in the interest of like not putting ourselves in like a really crappy unwinnable situation i'm just going to stick with normal mode and see how that continues to go so if i get in touch with caladrius again i will switch over to hard mode perhaps um to confirm hmm, this looks like <laughs> death or glory chapter one princess leah get back C celestis forces have entered the castle mother where is queen loretta she was able to make it out of the castle through the secret passage. You must make haste, milady. I like how the generic soldier knows about the secret passage. Escape while you can. No, I cannot abandon my country. Leave now, we can't hold out much. Look at these events. The Great Hall become a battleground, milady. You must leave now. Look at this dude's mustache. I like this dude's art. Aren't you the chivalrous knight? Now test your skill against mine. A double exclamation point. Whoa. No, oh, this generic had 17 hit points. Oh no, the Amatonans. Looks like you only remain, girly. Da, 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 da. This isn't happening. Surrender or die. That needs a period there, bud. Just add a period there. Alright. Oh, do I have a do I love a good game of cat and mouse? Commander Bartleby. The princess is trying to flee. Your order. There's a secret passage to this castle. We'll use her to find it. Then make her stop breathing. Is your command, sir. I won't let them find the secret passage. Looks like I'm fighting again. It's kind of crazy that they're talking so much about the secret passage, but I'll give it a pass. Who knows what else they know. Princess Leah. Catherine. There's an extra space there you want to watch out for. Is that you? Why haven't you evacuated? I think that's misspelled. Thank the stars you're un you are unharmed. I wanted to ensure you made it out of the castle safely. Your words touched me, Catherine. There's so many have died on my account today. We will win. <laughs> Look at this dude. We will win. Grant, you're here too. Princess, allow me to be your shield. If these, the weapons these guys brought, they will surely just sharpen my armor. I see no problem here. Neither if you are hurt, I can fix you right up. Catherine, Grant, you have my thanks. All right, so we have a route map against Bartleby, commander of a Celeste military force. Easy enough. I like his mustache. Looks like a pretty generic armor knight boss over here. Um, we've got some iron weapon dudes over here. Um, so I kind of, and then we have Grant, an armored knight of Amatona. He's boastful and dependable. I like his hair, kind of. Armor knight. Armor knights have. Four move. Ah. Looks decent enough. And then we have Catherine. Handmade to Princess Leah. She's devoted and insightful. Ooh. Bishop strategist. Is that going to be the, the architect this time? Let's see. So how much damage are you taking from these folks? So you're doing a cool 14. That's 13 minus your 3. So you're doing a cool 10 damage to Leah. So Leah could technically die here. Um, which isn't spectacular. But your void is 25, and then there's another 15 from Weapon Triangles, so that's 40 of wood. These hits are coming in at, like, 40. I could die, but it's the first turn. We're going to blitz it. And we're going to stay Slim Sword. And then we're going to send Catherine over this way to heal. And then we'll send Grant down this way. I think that's the play. Let's see. How does Grant do here? Grant doesn't take that much damage. Okay. Let's go Grant. I love Grant's palette. I absolutely really like that palette. Oh. 
I will say from a design perspective, it is a little sketchy having to just avoid these two. Like, the game wants me to split. Like, putting the fighters on this one side indicate to me that you want to send Leah this way to deal with them. It's a little sketchy, though, when she's the only when she can technically put herself in a situation where she dies immediately. I could have played that safer and placed her here to only deal with one fighter at a time, and then Catherine could come in and heal her, which I guess would be the safe play. Uh, but yeah, I, the, she could easily die on this phase if you're not careful. So I'm going to do this. Trying to save some rapier uses. I'll let the, get this guy out of here first. Skill and speed. I'll take it. Leah. Okay, I can put Catherine here. She's still at full health, which is fine. And we'll give Grant the pillar. It's just gonna save some time here. And Grant will slowly whittle these guys down with his consistent output of damage. These soldiers feel kind of bulky, but it could also just be that Grant's strength isn't as high as an armor knight at base might be. Like, he reminds me, he, he kind of reminds me of Boars so far, in that he's like, he's just a low-level armor knight that you get early on in the game. I feel like a lot of armor knights that we get in most vanilla games are usually coming in at a higher level, like Oswin or like Gotri in FE9. And so I think I'm used to seeing armor knights that deal heavier damage up front. And like, Boars isn't bad in his own right. He's kind of just bad because the maps are big and there's so many like axe wielders in the early game of FE6. So I'm curious to see how like an armor knight designed to like, I mean, even the color scheme kind of reminds me of Boars. Like, ooh, we got a cab. Look at this dude with the beard, the facial hair in this game. Princess Leah. My eyes did not deceive me then. I saw you run this way. You're a soldier from the Western Guard. What is going on? The Western Guard has been wiped out, my lady. We are ambushed from the sky. Pegasus Knights dropped many de deuces. No, they dropped many skilled soldiers behind the defenses. I, I am all who remain. Thank you, Sir Knight. Your efforts allowed my mother to escape the castle unarmed. Are you still able to fight? Yes, my lady. My name is Virgil. I was the sub-commander of the Western Guard. It will be my honor to defend you with my life. That's nice. Axe Cav! Ooh, the Axe Knight. Let's go. Virgil, a cavalier of Amatona. He's a diligent knight, but easily stressed. I mean, I believe it. He just watched all of his friends die. Looks pretty well-rounded. For level 3, stats do feel kind of low. But this game has, like, pretty high growths from what I've seen, so I'm not super worried about the faces. Uh, let's see. So let's do... Yeah, let's do this, and then everyone will die in enemy phase. Ooh, look at the dodge. Grant. Yeah, Grant's fine here. Not the most interesting map now, because like, look at this, because like now I kill these two fighters that charge me, and now I just have to walk to the boss, so my advice, Caladrius, would be to either include more enemies that are like, like, I could see like maybe put like an enemy or two in this spot so that you can have to move forward and deal with them. Uh, that could make, especially since we just got Virgil and I want to test him out, I kind of wish there was a little bit more pressure on the left side so that I could actually try and use him this map. Because Grant handles the right side very well on his own. And so I wonder if it would be like beneficial to make it so that Grant either couldn't do this as well by himself or just, I think this map just needs like some more enemies deeper into it. Because I feel like I'm gonna wipe this whole platoon out and then it's just gonna be the boss standing in one spot, which isn't really that compelling, but it is really early still, and we're still just learning the characters. And from what I've read and from what I've seen, this does not seem to be strength in HP. Okay. This doesn't seem to be... Strength is always nice, huh? But this doesn't seem to be, like, ball-bustingly difficult as a design choice, which is perfectly fine. Like, I'm not saying it should be. But one thing you always want to avoid, regardless of the level of difficulty that you wish to set for your player, is... Don't make people walk that much. Um, let's see. I'm curious if this guy moves. Okay, we'll put you there. He's got a steel axe talk. Virgil, is this a battle that can we can win? Most of Celeste's forces attacking the castle have been defeated, so they shouldn't be expecting many reinforcements, but at least that is some good news. Once we defeat their commander, we can escape the castle. Yes, but we must make haste. Celeste's main forces must be close. 
I like that. That's nice. A little talk combo always does well here. A little Catherine. Ooh, is that a custom healer strike? I like the hair. All right, Grant. Yeah, we're gonna go here so he doesn't take the pillar. Let's do this. Grant. Okay. I will say that this chapter does do it. Ooh, there we go. Uh, so this I don't like, man. Route map with reinforcements coming from far away. Not crazy about that design choice. I think you'd be better off, Caladrius, making this a kill boss chapter to encourage the player to rush. Because now it's like, isn't the purpose, the purpose is to escape. Like story-wise, it seems narratively like we're trying to escape. I get thematically how they, why they would come in here, but I think you could probably make this a little bit more impactful if it was like, we have to defeat the boss so we can escape. And then these guys from the guard that Virgil just like saw all of his buddies die from are charging in and it gets pretty hectic from behind so you need to rush forward. And I feel like from a pacing perspective having them show up at this time is perfectly fine. But having to deal with them because of the route objective is not something that I would recommend. Let's see, nine. Okay, you could just walk casually one around this dude, but I do want to try out Virgil. So, let's go. Whoa, look at this dude's the gray steed. I love it. Yeah, what a worthless lot of curs I've been assigned. All right. Bartleby. Okay, Virgil with a solid nine damage. Okay. Let's heal him up. So the boss doesn't move. You may want to consider Caladrius installing one of the patches that, does, that shows like whether units move or not, like the more modern games do. It's become so standard in ROM hacks that I think people will start to complain if they have to guess if like a boss moves or not. Okay. There we go, Leah. This can't be I. Okay, we did it. Let's go. These gains though, Leah's is starting to steamroll. Alright. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so we're going to get ready. So like flow-wise, I'm not crazy about this part. We defeated the boss, and now we're doing cleanup from these random dudes. My my recommendation then, Caladrius, is if you want this to be a route map, and you want to include these reinforcements, these guys should come earlier. If you want to change it to like a kill boss or an escape map, and like escape out the front here or something like that, then I think the timing here is fine. Okay. I'm gonna get Catherine to heal him up next turn. Let's go doubling with Steel Axe Virgil. Let's go. All right, pretty nice. And then I think this is, we'll do this, yeah, this is fine. Let's see what we, do the crit, clutch. All right, thank you, Slim Sword. At the very least, these guys charge it in the map's not big, so it's not like, like this could have been way more egregious, I think. All right, now I'm a little worried about Catherine being here with her 16 HP because I probably don't want around this guy. No, I do not. So I'm going to do something stupid and hold out. He probably gets doubled now. No, he doesn't. That's reassuring. I probably should just vulnerate. But I think Virgil can get that guy. No, it's too far. Just out of reach. Thankfully, Grant takes 
very little damage and has good HP pool for now. Okay, easy kill for Leah. Not crazy about that damage, but whatever. Fighter probably won't kill her. And it goes for Virgil, okay. Okay, we're gonna give this to Virgil. There we go. Alright. Princess Lee, are you unharmed? Physically, I am injured. Yes, you've been through a lot today. <laughs> I'm afraid it's not over yet. We have secured the Great Hall, we are fighting blind. Yes, I am well aware that we can't stay here. We have finished scouting the area. Any survivors? None. We have suffered heavy losses. The hall is secure, then we can use the passage. Our destination is Fort Rem, huh? We'll meet up with my mother and any survivors. Come! I can tell Lady Leia. Leia. Leia, Leia. Leia. It's hurting a lot right now. Yet she knows what needs to be done. She'll make a fine leader someday. Let's say you, Virgil. She has her father's strength and her mother's grace. All we can do now is protect her. Alright. I like the quick falling action in these. Not too much dragging on after. Um, a fine little chapter. Not really too much else to add that I haven't already commented on regarding the pacing of the chapter and some of the enemy placement things that I think could be improved to tighten it up. These are like very small tweaks. I think that would make the map go from like, like, okay. Plus to good. Okay. Plus to yeah. For like an intro map. Um, so yeah, like just a couple of little tweaks, I think to help the map flow a little bit better. Um, but it's short, it's small. It's chapter one. You're slowly easing the player into your game, which is fine. I can appreciate a game that takes this angle, which I think is much more like true to like a vanilla game, in all honesty, so I can get behind like the decision here. Uh, curious to see where it goes. I like the way the story is set pacing and set up so far. I think that there's um, some interesting intrigue going on with like the secret passage and the mother and all this kind of stuff. Uh, I do think it's a little strange that like everyone knows who Virgil is except for the princess. Like she was like, who are you? Um, and the other guy's like, know each other already so i'm not sure what's up with that i don't know if that needs to be explained more or not or could be cleared up with the scenes that are already there but something that i picked out that i wanted to comment on but overall curious to see where this goes and i'll see you guys next time for another chapter of the lonely mirror a fire emblem 8 rom hack by caladrius until then we will come back for upstream battle all right until then